Okay, so, going back to the Basmashi Rocks. Gonna take my old rifle and... Yeah, just gonna go ahead and blow out some T-Rex eyeballs. Wonder what T-Rex eyeballs would taste like. Wonder what any eyeball would taste like. I don't know if I want to know that. Because like, cause when I eat stuff, I'm kind of into texture, and I, I kind of feel like an, an eyeball would have a weird texture. God dang it. Die! Thank you. Shadow? Into the sun! Bow! Jeez, you guys are everywhere. Alright, that's enough of that. I need to find something more substantial. Except for I'm getting that... No, I'm not. Substantial! Come on now. <laughs> Let's see here. T-Rex. Oh, wait. Something is seeing me. Oh, Ceratosaurus. Get down. Oh, yeah. I think that was an eyeball shot. I mean, kind of hard to tell from this distance. I was just shooting for the general area, and he did go down. But, you know, I, I kind of think maybe maybe just a headshot in general. Well, no, not headshot. you got to get a brain shot, at least. Which, in order to get brain shot, you got to get pretty close to that eyeball. And a lot of times the frontal plate of a skull, even a human skull, is pretty thick. You know, kind of hard to shoot through. Although a human skull is, you know, it's going to be, be penetrated by just about any kind of weapon. Oh, jeez, hi. Right in the eyeball. You know, the only, the only thing I, I've heard about a 22 actually not penetrating somebody's skull but apparently it it went it went in oh boy you, you do just have to do that right when I take my freaking hand off the freaking weapon for a second I went to point at my head because of course you guys need to see where I'm pointing at my freaking head when I'm talking about stuff cuz you can't see me that's what I'm trying to say um but yeah, went into the the twenty two apparently went into the side of his skull and like penetrated the skin, but not his skull, and then just kind of went around his skull under the skin. So yeah, I bet you that sucked, but at least he didn't die. <laughs> you know, if it had been more square, it probably would have penetrated the skull, but being near the edge, it just kind of went to the, it like. You know, it went under the skin, and then it, it it couldn't deflect back through the skin because it didn't have enough ricochet momentum. I just think stuff like that's interesting. You know, what other kind of craziness has happened? Like, you should have died, and you didn't. I mean, speaking of that, I don't know, there was another story I heard about. This guy was, was tamping some explosives back in ye olden times. Not like ye olden, like, medieval, but like early 1900s kind of thing, like 1910s, earlier, maybe 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 1800s, like 1880s, I don't know, something like that. You know, really old times, blasting stuff, and he was tamping the thing in, and, and he had this stick for tamping, and he tamped the explosives down in the hall, and he was kind of down hanging, uh, hanging over it, and the explosive went off, shot the, the iron uh, poles, like, straight through the bottom of his jaw, out of the top of his head, the whole, like, Four foot pole went straight through his brain, and he survived. He did not die. You know, they took him to the doctor. He, he you know, he he spilled a little bit of his brains on the floor, and uh, <laughs> but he was all right. <laughs> it's like, how how are you doing that, dude? <laughs> That's definitely the abnormal. Holy crap! Hi, surprise. Jesus. Yeah, I'm getting uh, I'm getting pretty quick with this. I think I like this rifle again. I didn't like it before, but now that I know about eyeballs, this is pretty good. I want to stand. In All right, fine. I'll stand in your mouth. Seventy. All right, and give. Where? Yeah, look at them feet. That's a big claw in it. I mean, the claw is bigger than like my. Almost my whole leg or something. It's crazy. 
Oh yeah, just go right through the mountain. It don't matter. You know, physics. Don't matter. Okay, well, killed some stuff. That T-Rex is running away. Ah, but I don't care. <laughs> just take a pot shot at him. Um, I think it's here. The landing circle. I think it's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of blinky on the map, so I didn't really know. There's a dog making dreaming noises somewhere. So that might be what you can hear. Um, anyway. Yeah, T-Rex. Let's put that one in the old trophy gallery. Right? Or should we even bother with it because they keep disappearing? Yeah, this one doesn't stay. Let's, let's do this one see if that one stays. I don't know. Well, let's just uh, screw it and go out because they're not going to stay. I'm pretty convinced. Back to the Basmashi. Triceratops is very aggressive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember making fun of that tip before. I'm hunting T-Rex. You need to shut up about your whole Triceratops. It just eats plants. It will run away if it gets the opportunity. Of course, in its mind, it, the opportunity to run away isn't nearly as, you know, pronounced. It thinks that it needs to attack. More often than not, but I haven't really had a whole lot of T-Rexes with the opportunity to attack. You know, they're usually like, Brr, I'm so angry, and I just shoot him in the face. I just realized I found that last T-Rex without even using my call. Or more like, he found me, and while he was screaming about his, his, you know, his happiness of having found easy prey, I shot him in the face, proving him wrong about the easiness of the prey. This prey is not easy. This prey is more dangerous than a T-Rex. Because I've killed more T-Rex than T-Rex has killed me. Oh, you think you're tough? I know there's a T-Rex around, but this guy's sprinting. Woo! Lever action, that stuff. Ah. Okay. Stay down, stay quiet. Yes! How do you like me now? Uh. Take that, nature. Actually, I don't really know if it is nature because, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, it's nature. It's still dinosaurs. Even though it's some other planet, like I have been informed. Because, yeah, that's, that's the thing I got wrong about the thing. It's still dinosaur. It's still Dino Corp being paid by rich people or whatever to go hunt dinosaurs, you know. That corporation's making money off of hunters. Basically by supplying them with, uh, you know, transportation to and from the hunting grounds. And probably the guns and ammo and the license and all of that stuff. But the thing I had gotten wrong is I, I was kind of thinking that they had genetically engineered them like Jurassic Park. But no, apparently it's an alien world. That's fine too. Whoa, what happened over here? Somebody killed a Stego. Huh. I think it was that Ceratosaurus, because he came running from over there. Probably why he was so aggressive. He's like, that's my kill. Well, that's mine now. Eyeball shot. Alright. Well, I think we're good. I'm going to go ahead and go out, because that's that's my one T-Rex. I mean, I still kind of think there might be just one T-Rex per map, and I think it was just bugged out that one time. There's a good chance. Oh, no, the landing zone is back over there. Scotty, you're messing with me. What else is freaking new, huh? Okay, accuracy, 100%. Jeez, with all those shots I made? That that fire, that fire, fast? That's some rapid fire shooting and I didn't miss. Kind of surprised on that one. Yeah, because there was six shots into him. Boom, boom, boom on the on the rifle. And then a couple of revolver. Let's see what time we got. Wow, we are, we are cooking with gas. Let's do some more hunting. Getting all kinds of T-Rex real quick. We know what we're doing now. We know the, the patterns. We know how this game operates. 
once you get in the head of a game, then it's then it's easy. That's then that's kind of why I don't really get into scary games that much. You know, some some of the like Resident Evil games I've gotten into for for the run around shooting, puzzling kind of. I used to be more into puzzle games, but not really anymore. But you know that kind of thing. I didn't get into it because it was oh so scary. Ooh yeah. Man, that is an easy shot. That is so much easier than... Because before I was like trying for heart and lung shots, and I just could not get them dead. Eyeball? Guaranteed. Every time. Why would you try for anything else? I mean, that's almost... That's almost like a cheat code. Yeah. Okay. Of course, I'm hoping that I'm not like crazy good at getting eyeball shots, because other people might be like, oh, it's really hard to get an eyeball shot. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I suck. Well, maybe... Maybe you don't suck. Maybe I'm just good at it for some reason. Of course, I didn't get it that time, so, you know. That was a long one, though. Couldn't really see his eyeball. His eyeball. Plus, I don't, I don't really care about that. I want T-Rex. I want some T-Rex. Come on, T-Rex, no replies at all, jeez. Yeah, see, I think, I think the dog, I think the dog, I think the the interesting thing about, uh, about Jurassic Park and stuff that I recently started thinking about, oh, hold on, dog, dog, dog needs assistance. Dog, dogs are mentally hand, handicapped sometimes. Um, <laughs> but they're good dogs. Um, anyway, but the, I was recently thinking about the whole Jurassic Park situation, and I was thinking about how, you know, back in back in the time, there was a lot more oxygen in the atmosphere. You know, around the time of the dinosaurs, there was a lot more oxygen, apparently, unless I'm getting my science wrong. But I think there was, and I think that's one of the main reasons that things were even able to get that big. Because, you know, you take in a lung full of air, you get much more oxygen per breath, and then, and then you know, that translates into more oxygen in the blood, being able to, you know, sustain that level of oxygen in the blood for a lo longer. And that blood would be able to travel farther through the body, because you have a larger body. Yep. So then I was thinking, okay, so would... If, if if dinosaurs and all that need that much more oxygen in order to get that big, would they be able to live in, in our atmosphere? Or vice versa? Would we be able to coexist with dinosaurs? You know, because I know if you get... Uh-oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. I mean, that's just... I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm hardly even afraid of T-Rexes now. That eyeball shot, dude. That eyeball shot. They just come running out of the woodwork like, ha ha, surprise! And I'm like, so? Boom. I mean, I don't want to brag, but am I, am, I, am I getting good at this or what? Is this just me? Is everybody else able to do this? Is there a hidden difficulty setting that I need to put up somewhere? I have no idea. In any case, I got my T-Rex for this map. What was I rambling about? I don't even remember. Something. Yes, dinosaurs. Oxygen. Sizes. Yeah. Um. Oh god, something's seeing me. But yeah, if, uh. If dinosaurs need more oxygen, would be would we would we survive in there? Because that's the thing. I don't I don't know. I mean somebody might know. Somebody might know the the different levels of oxygen between the atmosphere of dinosaur times and the atmosphere now, and they might know the limits of humans uh, oxygen breathing, so they might be able to say whether or not we could live in their atmosphere, but it would be a little bit more difficult to say the other way around, because we're not exactly sure how their bodies worked, because we can only see their bones, really, and some skin every once in a while, some fossilized skin, or this or that, I'm sure, you know, but we never found a full working, living creature. I think we can go one more, yeah, we got, we got enough time, if you seriously wound your prey, it will die eventually. Yeah, well, I, I think by eventually in this game, they mean, like, probably, like, less than 30 seconds. 
which I think is a little unfortunate, because if you shoot something, like, real nasty in the heart area, you might get, like, the aorta or something, which would probably wouldn't shock it into, into dropping immediately, maybe? I don't really know. But, in any case, you could, you could do some massive bleeding damage, and they could just bleed, 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 and it would take quite a while for them to die. Which is why hunters always try to aim for that one-shot kill. You don't want to chase them for an hour. You don't want them to be running full speed for, like, you know, all that time. <laughs> Although I suppose it's kind of hard to run full speed when your body's losing blood at a rate that's going to kill you. But you know what I mean. In the animal world, with you wild animals and their adrenaline, and yeah. Only the strong survive in the wild. Oh! Hi! I looked at my gauges and I was like, oh crap. He's coming up on me. Well then. Well, alright. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to the trophy gallery and see what we got and put those in. Call that good. Oh, it looks like looks like those stayed or something? Or something. Oh no, let's see what we've got over here. T Rex. T Rex. Uh, look at this little guy. He's he's little. Isn't he funny? But his the arm pr proportions. I mean, he's got about the same arms. Well, actually, the proportions are a lot different. You know, T Rex arms are a lot smaller proportionally. If you look at this, the length of the arm compared to the, the back leg on each, you know, arm leg, arm leg. These are different. These are bigger. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I don't need to freaking go into detail here. Who cares, anyways? T Rex. Okay. Do I have a? Oh yeah, Roy. Roy, you need to give it up. All right. Is that everything? That is everything. Tyrannicide. Dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it. Yeah. Look at that. Those, those things are cool. Awesome. Well, I guess w I guess we can call that the ultimate achievement, huh? I have come across all the T-Rexes I can come across. I could continue hunting them, but as you've seen, it's not much of a challenge at this point. I could try more with the Expo, I guess. But I've done Expo, I've done Sniper Rifle, I've done the ri regular rifle, I've done it all. I've done it all, and then some. So yeah... I think we're probably good on this episode. On, on, well, on this episode, obviously, but also I think we're good on the series. I think we're I'm probably gonna end, end up uh, stopping playing this now because there's nothing, nothing left. I got them all. I got all the T-Rex. I got all the stuff. I got. I done it. But, but my point I'm leading up to is, if you want me to play something else, let me know. I mean, there isn't. It's kind of a rare occasion when I when I can't or won't play a certain type of game. I mean, unless it's something just completely against what I'm talking about. What I like playing. But you've, you, you know, you've seen my channel, you've seen what I've played, you, you get the gist of what I'm kind of into. Sometimes more thinking games, sometimes more shooting games. If I can do both at the same time, that's pretty cool sometimes. But a lot of, a lot of games have troubles uh, doing that well. But in any case... Yeah. Like I said, if, if any other games you want me to play, let me know, because I'm always open to stuff, and I, I'm not always aware of every game out there, too. E even every game on Steam. I look on Steam as much as I can to see, uh, you know, to see what new games are coming out on Steam, but I don't always see every game on Steam, even. And, uh, wow, look at that calf. Um, <laughs> that's, that's an impressive calf muscle right there. Um, but yeah, any other game you want me to play let me know I mean I, I did try to to play Silent Hunter a little bit and I got another request to and I tried to again I just can't do it because I need mods you know I need need to have the mods and I got Steam version so it's a little wacky plus I'm just not good at it just not I just ah it's one of one of the games I'm not good at I just can't get past it I don't know that's a sad thing because I would like to play it but anyways the old ramble as I've said a thousand times already, let me know what games to play. 
and let me know what you think of this. Let me think. Uh, let me know what you think of everything else. And I'll see you guys in some other game next time.